Hello, my name is Roberta. I'm from Lithuania. Uh, for those who don't know, it's a small country between Russia and Poland. Uh, besides, it's in the European Union. Uh, I born in a classical Christian family. Since long time, I was looking for the truth around me. Is it really God what we read in the Bible? Although Jesus didn't say, I am God. And why we don't have two identical Bibles, hundreds of divisions, and every church explains as he wants. Then I saw some places in the Bible with many wrong stories, and we have many stories to be unlogical, unscientific, unmoralic, and don't forget the large amount of contradictions. And of course, what amazed me the most was the unmoralic stories and incest sex. Half of this book for, my, for me was meaningless. I saw around me how Western culture is lost and sinking in the darkness of the unmorality, pornography, sex industry, women body humiliating, raping, controlled media, high number of suicide. Anyway, we are facing destru dest destruction as humans without we can't even realize it. So I start looking for solution to our problems. My spirit is not satisfied in this ill culture. I start, I start through friends to read about Islam, I kill the fear of Islam and I stop listening to what the manipulated people say about it. I start read, reading it with neutral mind, I test my knowledge and I, through my research I visited Arabic country and I found that the women are treated with very high respect and even I saw a man standing for a woman in the public tra transportation. In the same time, I was standing, uh, reading Quran and explanations about Quran, and I studied with a Muslim brother for one year. So I was comparing Quran and Islam with what other uh, other anti-Islamists saying and writing, and I found it absolutely different. I found in Islam the logical solution in our lives in and in our hearts. And what wondered me that I couldn't find no one scientific or logical mistake. I wish to find such one one such mistake, but I couldn't. But I found opposite, uh, with high morality written book, with full respect to the language, is written with a complete way of living, not even one contradiction or silly or fairy tale uh, or horror, blood blood rituals. I found in the Quran. Quran is the first book who gave for women this high moral position and respect in the opposite of the Bible or other books. And so I'm a happy, black person. I'm proud about my mind and stronger to face this world. And I recommend you to be neutral and read Quran. Alhamdulillah that God gave me the light to see the truth and he made me Muslim.
Dr. Sharosh began at the beginning of this rebuttal of his with a verse from the Bible, 2 Timothy 3.16. He quoted, he said, all scripture is given by inspiration and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, corrections, and instructions unto righteousness. It's a beautiful test, which from that he concludes that all scripture, meaning the Bible, is based on these four tests. If it is a word of God, it must prove one of these four points. It must either be your doctrine, your teaching, anything if it is from God, it must serve some purpose. It's not for your entertainment. It must be your doctrine, reproof, you do certain things wrong, you'll be punished. Correction, not like this, but like that. And encouraging you to good deeds, instructions and to righteousness. Beautiful, beautiful. Actually, Paul was talking to Timothy about the previous verses in verse 15, talking about the Old Testament. He was not talking about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and Peter, and James, and Jude. But however, if the Christian wants to lump it all together, say lump it. Now, you see, I quoted one brief verse about Samson. Samson goes to Gaza and he sees a harlot and he goes into her. This is supposed to be in the word of God. Now, under the test that is given to us by Dr. Sharosh, where does it fit in? Does it, is that your doctrine? That when you go to some place and you see a prostitute, you go in into her, your doctrine, is that your teaching? Reproof, was there any reproof given by God Almighty? Say, I'll punish you, I'll put you in hell, nothing. Correction, he said, no, you mustn't do this, but you must marry her, and then you can go in. What? What instruction? Nothing at all. So I'm asking the doctor or any Christian at any time, please, please, read the Bible with this critical eye, there are things there in the Bible you can't fit in anywhere. Genesis chapter 38, you read about Judah, the father of the Jewish race. He has three sons, and he gets the eldest son married, and he does something that God didn't like, so God killed him. Genesis chapter 38. Ask the Christian, where does it fit in? He says, reproof, which is correct. God told him not to do certain things, and he did it, so God killed him. So now, Judah tells his second son, Onan, you go in unto your brother's wife, according to a Jewish custom, and beget a child by her, so that the name of the deceased might carry on. This guy, Onan, he goes unto his brother's wife, trying to fulfill his duty, but at the critical moment, the jealousy enters his heart. He says, look, the seed is mine, but the name will be my brother's. So he spills it on the ground. I'm reading the Bible. He spilled it on the ground, so God killed him also. Where does that fit in? Reproof. So look, this is your custom. You were supposed to do certain duty. You perform. You don't, God kills you also. Now the old man sends his daughter-in-law, the old man sends his daughter-in-law back to her father's house, telling her that the next time the third fellow is grown up, I will call you. But conveniently he forgets, conveniently. So the woman wants to take revenge. So she gets the news that her father-in-law is going to Timnat. I'm reading the book of Genesis, chapter 38. He's going to Timnat to share his sheep. So she goes and sits by the, way, by the wayside and covers her face. The old man passing by, he sees this woman and he's game. He's game. So he comes to her, I'm reading the Holy Bible. He says, allow me to come in unto thee. What Samson did to, in Gaza, same thing, let me do to you. So she says, I'm reading the Holy Bible. What will thou give me? 
So he said, I'll give you a kid from the flock. Look, there are Christians here. You have your Bibles with you. If I'm misquoting anything, please take me up at question time. He said, I'll give you a kid, a goat kid from the flock. So she says, what guarantee that they will give it? He said, what guarantee do you want? He said, your signet, your ring, and your bracelet, and your staff. So the old man gave it to her, and he cohibited with his daughter-in-law by the roadside, and made her pregnant. Twins, twins, straight away, one hit, twins. And these twins are Fares and Zara, who are the great-grandfathers of Jesus Christ, according to the genealogy. Children of incest are the great-grandfathers of Jesus. Now I'm asking, in this test that you gave, beautiful test, 2 Timothy 3.16, doctrine, reproof, correction, and instruction unto righteousness, I'm asking, where does this fit in, into the book of God? Tell me. And if you can't fit in anywhere, then it fits into pornography. Pornography. 